Hello nurse, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and this is your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about transpiration. But before we start our lesson, I have announcement to make. I got so many requests to teach in Urdu or Hindi language. So to acknowledge these requests, I have started a new channel where you can find the same videos in Urdu or Hindi language. I will share the link in the description and also in the i button so you can subscribe and support that channel. So let's dive into our topic. In the word transpiration, trans means across, spiration means to breathe and t-i-o-n means the act of. If you combine these three words, it means the act of breathing across, which literally means that vapors which are emitted from the plant leaves. Here you can see in this diagram, this plastic bag is covered with the water vapors. These water vapors are actually coming from the plant leaves. Similarly, when you breathe out and you can see the gases coming out of your mouth, especially during the winter season, this breathing out in humans is actually similar the breathing of transpiration taking place in plants. Transpiration is actually loss of water from the aerial parts of the plants through evaporation. Water which is taken from the soil Oil is going to move in the upward direction and then the water from the aerial parts which may be leaves which may be stem or which may be flower it is removed out of the plant by the process of evaporation evaporations mean in the form of vapors only a small amount of water taken up by the root is used for the growth and metabolism of water it, it means plant does not require all the water which is taken up by the roots and about 90% of the water is lost by the process of transpiration. The aerial parts which are involved in the transpiration are leaf, the stomata and cuticle. These are two parts of leaves which are involved in the transpiration. Stem, the lenticels of the stems, they are involved in the transpiration as well as flowers, they are also involved in the process of transpiration. Now how the transpiration is actually working, as the leaf transpires, the water potential of its mesophyll cells drop. For example, here in this diagram, this part here is the leaf and these are the cells of leaf. When the water moves out of the leaf, it causes a space in the cells or water potential of the water drops. Water potential means the amount or the concentration of water in the cells is decreased. Now what will happen that water will move by the process of osmosis from the xylem cells into the dehydrating mesophyll cells. We know what is the process of osmosis that water is going to move from the higher water potential towards the lower water potential. So when the cells in the leaf have low water potential the water from the xylem cell will move into that cell so that they can maintain the water potential. So when one water molecule moves up the xylem, the process continues all the way to the root where water is pulled from the xylem cell. So similarly, when the water will move, these are the water molecules, when the water will move from xylem to these cells, it will cause space here. So to fill this space, the water molecule from the other cells of xylem will move to here. Again, the space is created the water will move here. Similarly, the water is going to move from the xylem cells towards the leaf just to make up the water potential. Now, this movement of water is going to cause a pull which will cause water to move from the root hairs to the cortex pericycle and this pull which is going to produce is known as transpiration pull. The transpiration pool works similarly when you are filling your fountain pen. You can see that this part here is empty and this part here has a lot of ink. So by the help of suction what will happen? This ink it will move from the higher water potential to the lower, low water potential. So the ink it will move from here to the upper part. So this is actually a pull which is causing the ink to move similarly in the plant when the leaves are removing the water the water will move from the root where it is present in higher concentration or high water potential to the lower water potential and in this way a suction or a force is formed which is known as transpiration pull so next time when you are filling your fountain pen with the ink just feel that pull or feel that suction force so that you can relate it with the transpiration pull. 
similarly if you have an empty bottle and then you press the bottle from this part and put its mouth near some paper ball and suddenly release the bottle from this part what will happen this will cause a suction force here and this paper ball it will move inside this bottle this suction force is also similar to the transpiration pull which is causing the water to move from the root to the aerial parts uh, the transpiration pull refers to the suction force that draws the water up against the direction of the gravity through a plant we know so the transpiration is actually moving against the gravity we know gravity attracts everything towards the earth but the transpiration is going to work against the gravity and it will take the water molecules from the soil to the aerial parts of the plant all about the transpiration if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next video